Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching Vector In today's video, we'll take a look at another control from Avalonia called Split View. A Split View presents a container with two parts, the main content zone and the side panel. The main content zone is always visible and the panel can be expanded and collapsed. The collapsed panel can be completely hidden or left slightly open with enough space to host some icon buttons, for example, uh, home, settings, and so on. So uh, this video will be a tutorial on how to implement such a control in Avalonia UI. So without any further ado, let's get started. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot and it motivates me to create more such videos. So moving on, let's fire up Visual Studio and let's click on create a new project. Let's select Avalonia.NET MVVM app and click next. Let's give this a name. Let's uh, change it to Avalonia split view and click on next. And click on create. So uh, now that our project is loaded, the first thing that you will notice is that we see a designer and to achieve this uh, or to get this designer, you can add the Avalonia extension uh, provided by Avalonia. And here you can go to extensions and you can see I have installed this uh, extension called Avalonia for Visual Studio 2022. So this will provide you the previewer uh, and uh, other templates for Avalonia. So moving ahead, let's start uh, by designing the split view. So let's get rid of this um, greetings text over here and let's uh, let's start designing our application before that let me go to the solution explorer and change go to the app.xml file and change the theme from the uh, default to dark uh, okay uh, let's go back to our main window and here let's start by adding our split view and uh, Let's say the is open is pane open property to true for now, and um, let's next property that we are going to set is open pane length, and I want this pane to be open uh, 300 points, uh, and the next property that we are going to set is compact pane length, and when it is collapsed, I want it to be 48 points. So once that those settings are set, let me bring this all to the next line okay so uh, we, now the uh, we have set the uh, open and compact uh, pane lengths next uh, we will set the display mode uh, and we have several options we have overlay inline compact overlay and compact inline i'm going to go with compact inline and then let's next let's set the pane background and let's set it to you can choose whichever color you like and um, i'll also set the background to the same color yeah that's it so let me bring these also to the next line okay uh, so now uh, next uh, this like I said uh, the split view has two uh, elements one is the split view pane and the split view content the content contains the content when the of the uh, window uh, whereas the pane contains the icons and the links like home page settings and so on um, so let's add the split view pane And also let's add the split view content. Okay, so next let's add a stack panel within this. Before we go and add the stack panel, let's uh, add a border within our uh, content and set the corner radius of 10 points and Zero, 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 and let's set the background to say 2D, 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 uh, just to differentiate from the pane. So now you can see we have our pane in a darker shade of gray, and then you have a lighter shade of gray uh, that is the content region. So uh, that is the content section, and now let's focus on the pane. So in our pane, uh, let's add a stack panel. 
and let's say the spacing as five and uh, the margin also to be five and within our stack panel we will add our button that will trigger the uh, pane uh, to open and close so let's add a button here and let's set a command and let's set the binding and give this uh, command a name open pane command Let's close the binding and let's set other properties like horizontal alignment to say left. And um, uh, let's close this. And for now, uh, let's uh, put the content as a hyphen maybe. Um, and you'll see soon notice why. Now that uh, our button is created and we have set the command property for this button, let's uh, change this uh, eSpain uh, property from true to a binding. So let's say binding and let's uh, create a binding called eSpain open. And then um, let's go to our uh, main window view model. And here we will create a property called uh, private boolean is pane open and let's set it to true also we need to set this uh, property as an observable property next uh, we will create a command that we have set over here so so we'll have to create a function called open pane and for that we'll create a relay command and this is private void open pane and here we will set the is pane is pane open property uh, i think we need to build this uh, to I don't see it, so let's build this application. Let's try it one more. Is pain equal to negative is pain. So let's close this, save this, and let's build our application. Okay, so now if you see, we have this button, which is not uh, quite visible yet, but we will change this soon. So if you see here, if, if I click on this button, it will toggle the uh, uh, pane from open to close. And uh, by default, uh, the pane is open. So you can set that property as well. So now let's uh, do some uh, changes to our uh, buttons. So let's uh, add a style first. So let's go to our view model, not view model, sorry, our application uh, XAML and uh, also let's go to a solution explorer and under our assets let's right click and add a new item and that would be the uh, Avalonia styles and uh, here in our styles we will remove this part and here we will add our styles so let's start by adding a style and inside our style we will add resources and inside our resources we'll add some stream geometries uh, that are provided by avalonia these stream geometries are basically icons in a geometric format and you can find it in the uh, link in the description so let me look for an hamburger menu icon so let's search for lines so we have line horizontal one uh, let's search for let's say horizontal three yeah and there you have your stream geometry let's copy the stream geometry and paste it inside this next uh, we will have to save this and go to our app.xml file and in our app.xml file under the fluent theme we will add our style include 
and here our source will be the uh, style that we just added I don't see it because I think I need to build our application because I've newly created it. Okay, now let's try again. And here you have the uh, styles. under Avalonia split view assets and styles. So let's include this and then close and save. Next, uh, we'll go to our main window and here uh, we have our button and let's, and we right now we have a single hyphen here and inside this button, let's create a path icon. So let's set the data equal to a binding, not a binding, sorry, but uh, here it will be a static resource and let's copy the name uh, from the uh, resource file and that is called the line horizontal three and let's paste it over here and then let's close this and close our path icon. Okay, so also uh, let's build this once. Next, uh, let's set a width and height for our button. So right now, if you see uh, our button is here and let's set a color foreground color for our um, path icon and let's set it to white. And now you can see uh, our path icon is visible on this button and on click of this, it opens and closes. So now uh, all we have to do is add some more uh, buttons not buttons but let's let's go and add a list view or a list box and inside this list box let's add some list box items let's say for now item one copy and paste it several times and now you can see uh, we have our list box and when it collapses we should have uh, an icon over here so let's uh, tackle it by uh, removing all of these for now. Uh, let's set the um, background for this uh, as hash 1e, 1e, 1e and the foreground to white. Okay, so we have our item and then we have a list box. So now uh, instead of this item, uh, we will add a stack panel within it. And inside this stack panel, let's uh, add the same spacing and margin from the top stack panel. So copy that and paste it over here. Next, uh, we will add a path icon. and a text block. And within this text block, let's add a name. And let's set the orientation of this to horizontal. And let's set a margin of 15. and not on all sides though and um, now um, all we have to do is I've removed the spacing and margin because it was uh, applying it on the parent also because already an spacing and margin is applied over here. Uh, so let's change this path icon to a home icon. So to do that, let's go to our um, 
website over here provided by Babylonia and search for home. And you can see the stream geometry provided by Babylonia. Let's copy this, go to our styles and paste this style over here. And let's copy this name and paste it on our path icon over here. So do this and rebuild. Let's run this application. So here you can see our application, uh, which has this uh, split view which opens and closes on click of this uh, button, which is uh, bound to a command. And here you have a list box with uh, the uh, list items. So hope you all uh, liked watching this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and do subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye-bye.